Hey everybody, today we are talking about using the DISM utility in Windows to export Windows drivers. This will allow you to do a fresh reinstall of Windows and not have to worry about going out and searching for drivers after the fact. Let's get started. So the tool we want to use is DISM. We want to tell it that we want to do an online backup. We need to tell it we want to export the drivers. Actually, driver, not plural. And then give it a destination. And it will go through and it will copy all the drivers over to this location. And then if we were to ch uh, change directories into that location, we can see the drivers that we have listed. And of course you want to take this directory and use 7-zip or some other utility to create a zip file and keep it separate from the computer. And then do a fresh install of your Windows. Now, this is also useful in a more corporate environment. If you get a laptop from the manufacturer and you want to back up the drivers from the install of Windows that came from the factory. And then you want to do a fresh install of Windows because you don't trust what garbage that the manufacturer has loaded on the system out of the box. So there are a couple of use cases and I'm sure there are more. Uh, my particular use case is I am going to take one of these machines and I'm going to wipe windows and I'm going to put Linux on it. So, um, having the drivers gives me a little bit of protection. If I should decide at some future point to reinstall windows on this particular machine, I don't have to go hunting for the drivers or hope that windows update finds the drivers that I need to get started. Worst case scenario, it updates the drivers. Anyway, this has been just a quick, hopefully helpful video. I know there are other utilities that do the same thing, but this is built into Windows and you don't have to pay anything extra for it. Uh, there are some more PowerShell uh, specific type ways to do this. Uh, I tried a couple and had mixed results, so I resorted back to using DISM. That will bring us to the end of another short tip video. If you got something out of this, please like and subscribe. And if you feel the need to support the channel to a higher level, please check out the link in the description for buy me a coffee. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.